is our estimate which we need to use. So basically our first step which we are going to do, we are going to light our hot plate. Then we shall need to divide this bar into two equal sides, two equal parts. So we shall cut it. Like that. So after that step, I'll put this our saucepan into the fire. Meat, as I told you, so we're going to apply our ingredients into this meat. So before that, we shall need to chop our garlic. Two small pieces. Just like this. Two small pieces, even this one shall pick a bit of it. So basically that's enough. So, we shall transport them into our meat. This is my green pepper. So, we shall also cut it into small pieces. Put one egg into this minced meat. Just like that. Then, so our I think it's now ready. Let's heat up. So I will need to apply or roast our pan. Just like this. Every side. So you can replace your meat. You don't lose a lot of meat. So we shall be checking on it as it's progressing. This is our mouth purpose flap or we you can apply two spoonfuls of it. So we can add some tamari to this, then you can put some salt. Salt, then you shall put some paprika just here, then you shall put our cumin seeds. See the progress. Then we shall put our black pepper into our meat. Then we shall put our cardboard. Then we shall put also our coriander. Then we shall also roast. This other side of our pan. So, we shall also put some chili in our meat. Just right here. And 
schwer. Aber wenn ich gut aber wenn man das heißt, es ist ein bisschen schwierig. Ich merke da auch nicht, ich bin fest. So. Aber, so ist das. Das ist gut von in the same form. That's enough. Shall put the most aside. We shall lay it out quite. Just like this, should be a perfect circle. Just like this one. Then you pour each side for five minutes and even the other side for five minutes. Okay, so our meat is ready, as you can see. It has turned to be kind of golden brown golden so this shows that our meat is ready so we are going to put our cheese slice it's this one so we shall put it on top of this meat and we cover just like this so that we allow it to melt on this meat so from there we made up our mixture of ketchup and mayonnaise so I'm going to paint our bread, we are going to apply this on our bread, just like this.
So this makes our burger to be juicy. So this is a good thing. We can put that aside. We also put it on our other bread. Just like that. So we can see our cheese has melted on our beef. So we are going to apply our tops. Or we are going to dress our burger. So what you are going to start with, you are going to first put our cucumber just right here. Even this side, we shall have one. Then from there, I'll put my lettuce. Just like this. Then I'll put my tomatoes. Just like this. Then I'll bring my meat. Before that, we can also put our onions, just like this. Then we transfer this one to here. Add my tomato just like this, still an onion, just like this. Then I'll put my topping just like this. So, basically, this is how we can do a burger at home. Mm. This is our burger for today. It's a very juicy burger. You can follow the procedure. You will be making such a kind of burger as you can see it. You see? So, this is our burger. So, if you can, you can proceed, if you can repeat the procedure, you can perfect this and get good results. Otherwise, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you are a new person following us. And don't forget to give me a thumb. God bless you.